Yeah, it was an amazing time and I think for all of us was was amazing years, especially with the title we won. Uh, yeah, but it, it all was really a nice adventure for all of us and uh, yeah, Brøndby will always be a part of my heart and uh, yeah, I'm really grateful for the club and all the supporters. Yeah, of course, um, in German I think you say like, you, you look with one eye who's crying and the other eye who's laughing because uh, yeah, I'm looking forward for the new adventure but also it was an amazing time and I will miss all, all of uh, the guys here around the club and in the club uh, so yeah, it will be a little bit emotional day for me. When I came was just uh, was the clear plan just for, for one year alone and then I will go back but yeah, we were so successful and um, you never know in football, so yeah, I, I stayed here for three and a half years and it was really a great time. It was the right time for, for me as a player and for the club um, and I think we developed quite good together and um, yeah, so it was really, was really a nice uh, adventure here. I'm thankful for all of the players I played, um, everybody was good to me. But yeah, especially in the beginning, I think uh, mostly Rudi Austin and Lebo Piri helped me a lot um, to get fast in the team and they were my neighbors. So we were a lot of times together in the beginning and um, yeah, after the year they left, then Beza came. Of course, I had a special relationship with Beza. He was my age and we were neighbors again. So yeah, I had a lot of, I could tell many players now, I have Tony. Uh, young, so yeah, but, uh, at all I'm friends with all of them and uh, I will miss all of my teammates. So yeah, it was a really, was a really nice uh, atmosphere in the club, in the team. I prefer that one. Looks better now. Not good, but better. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to that, honey? Yeah, I can, I can just say that uh, I think I'm pretty and uh, <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, how I look and yeah. Um, I came as a younger player, talented but uh, haven't played a lot in the big teams where he was so here I got the chance uh, from the club, from the coach. He trusted me from the beginning so it's, it's just I can repeat it, it was amazing years and um, I think the best years I had in my professional career. Yeah, I had uh, offers. But um, yeah, when Nur got sold, the market was closed for me that Pols was saying to my agent and was fine at that time. And uh, the coach came to me that he needed me at least one more year. And yeah, so then of course uh, I cannot, if the club say no, then I cannot say I, I will go. And at that time we decided to stay Probably financially for the club would be better to sell me at that summer, but uh, yeah, you never know in football. Um, but I'm really help, uh, thankful for everybody in the club. Also, Trolls brought me here and uh, bring me here, Zorniger also, and I can just be really grateful to all of them. And um, so that's football how it is sometimes. I, I came here, I had. Uh, I, of course, I had other opportunities in Germany, but I knew the coach and he gave me from the beginning the trust and that sometimes you have to give something back. I tried to ha give something back, but of course I had also a lot of injuries and problems with my pubic bone and it was not easy for me, but I played all, always and um, yeah, I was flying home so many times to Germany to get an injection, to go, go to the doctor middle of the week and then play on Sunday again. But uh, yeah, you have to go through. And I think also me as a character, as a person, I, I, I get stronger in it. And now I feel much better and I don't have the pain anymore. So yeah, I grow also at this, in this. And this is part of uh, football. And now I'm, I'm healthy and looking forward for the new adventure. Uh, when I came, I was 20 or uh, I think 20, 21. 
And I didn't had that much experience. Now I think me and Camille, we are one of the longest in the team, of course Johan. Um, but yeah, you have to take at one point uh, responsibility. And um, I try to help the team as much as possible. And yeah, this was my part and I learned a lot as a person. Of course, uh, as a football player, I can always learn and develop. Um, but especially as a person, I learned a lot here and uh, in my time here in Brøndby. I remember that, but uh, I was in the dressing room when Trolls was saying it to the fans. It was a special. I just saw a video later and... Uh, could yeah. you hear it in the dressing room? Yeah, we could hear that they were celebrating, but of course we, I didn't knew that uh, it was because of me. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just so grateful for all of the supporters. They was, especially I know that the last three and a half years was ups and downs. So, and they was always standing behind us and that's... That's something what you don't have always in football. And I'm really grateful. I, I, wish, I wish that the club come up again and uh, win some titles because the fans is better than we are right now. That's, that's a fact. And uh, yeah, we have to, uh, the club especially, have to come at the level they were before. And that's very important for all of the supporters. And yeah, after Sunday, I will be a Sprintby supporter and I will watch the games. And, Hopefully they would do well. Can just I can just say that I'm so grateful for all the supporters and uh, especially I got so many messages and um, they they always supported me and yeah I I hope that I gave them something back and uh, we will we will always you never know in football at one time you return and uh, yeah then you are one team again so yeah you never know in football that's what I can say. I will go to Nashville and try my best and uh, do my best for sure. But in football, you never know. Thanks, Annie. Yeah, thank you. See you.